Hello, Creality K2 Plus users. Hello, those of you who have recently installed the latest K2 Plus firmware. The recent Creality K2 Plus firmware has brought up a few issues, mainly belt tensioning related. The past few days have been a whirlwind of speculation with many people reaching out to me for guidance or venting their frustrations. My biggest question has been, do we have a firmware that's throwing false error reports? Or do we have a firmware that is better and more accurate at detecting belt tensioning issues and giving you the warning that previous firmware was failing to detect? I reached out to Creality, asking them for guidance in how I should approach this topic when offering you guidance. I received a very detailed response and we will go over that response right now. People are concerned about the belt error messages. There is debate over whether these error codes are accurate or false. Any input on this would be helpful. Here is the answer I got to that question. In this new K2 Plus firmware, we have improved the sensitivity of the belt tensioning module, resulting in the error CA2721 for some users. I am aware that some of you have also received other similar belt tensioning error message codes. She didn't mention those codes here in this response, which is a reminder that the belt tensioning module might need to be recalibrated. If this prompt still appears after restarting the machine and running a calibration, but your K2 Plus is printing normally, you can choose to ignore this prompt. Here on my screen, she shows a photo of the K2 Plus calibration screen with belt tension, cutter calibration, and input shaping checked. Auto bed leveling is not checked as it's not needed in order to recalibrate these belts. In the long run, we still recommend that you perform a deep calibration according to the instructions in the wiki page to keep your K2 Plus in the best use condition. Keep in mind, those of you following the calibration instructions, you do not need to buy belt tensioning tools. Creality has one available that you can print. We will go over this calibration process very shortly in a new video. She does mention a second issue that I didn't ask about, and that is a camera issue. It says currently only LAN cameras are available. Creality Cloud cameras are not working and they are working on a fix for that as soon as possible. Number three, they actually screen captured and sent me a question from my video posted by user M-T-A-H-T-A-L-I. The update screwed up the calibration sequence as it first heats up the print bed then waits for it to cool down, which takes forever. This is really annoying. She sent me this with a response. This is indeed a firmware issue. When non-PLA printing encounters no leveling data, in other words, when printing with something that isn't PLA, it will enter a forced leveling state and cool down to 50 for leveling. The temporary solution is to enter the calibration page and manually run an automatic leveling then initiate your print. The machine will see that leveling data and will not automatically initiate the leveling. My rep goes on to say, we will release an emergency firmware fix this week, which is expected to be pushed on Friday. As of the time of this video, that is tomorrow, Friday, January 3rd. There it is. Creality believes many of these belt tensioning errors are legitimate and you should consider going over the calibration process. Those of you who find your printing is just fine may choose to go ahead and continue printing without doing any of this process. The bed leveling through ABS that's heating and cooling the bed in a weird order is indeed a firmware error. They are aware and it will be fixed tomorrow. A key takeaway here is that it's okay to run a printer without perfectly tensioned belts. In the past, we had to manually tension our belts by turning little knobs and turning little screws. Many of our printers are most likely not technically tensioned to spec. Perhaps they're too loose, perhaps they're too tight. I bet you my CR6 Max 
is tensioned differently than your CR6 Max. My Ender 3 version 3 KE, maybe my belts are tighter than your Ender 3 version 3 KE, but both our printers are working just fine. However, the only difference now is that our printers have become smarter and they're capable of communicating with you. Therefore, rather than considering belt tensioning codes as errors, I think of it more as a communication. The printer is saying, hey, technically your belts aren't to spec. Maybe they're too loose. Maybe they're too tight. Maybe you say, so what? It's working fine. Just as we have for many years before, without any feedback from the printer to tell us what it thinks of our belt tension. This is why, if your printer is working fine, you go ahead and continue to use it. However, if your printer has issues, it might be worth listening to your printer when it tells you your belt tensioning isn't to spec. Or, if you're somebody who likes to tinker, and you want everything perfect, and you want these communications to go away, you might want to go ahead and run your auto belt tensioning calibration and manual belt tensioning to see if we can clear those errors and make the printer happy. I will go over how to tension the belts on the K2 Plus and how to calibrate the automatic belt tensioning as soon as physically possible. I am going to attempt to start filming that video right now at the conclusion of this video, editing, uploading, thumbnailing, and all the things required to get a video from my desk to you. And I will see you there.